What's going on everyone? Honda Fit for Adventure here. And a few months ago, we installed a Renogy 200 watt flexible solar panel to the roof of my 2015 Honda Fit. Just last weekend, we went on a road trip to Iowa and when we were on our way back. Oh man, the solar panel ripped off the car. Wow. Thankfully, the panel flew off into the grass covered median. Oh, is that it right there? Get out of here. Holy shit it is. While the solar panels did not look cracked, the panel looks okay. The cables were ripped in half and ripped loose from the junction box. With a road trip to Alaska planned in just a few days, I needed to see if I could salvage this panel or if it was a total loss. My solar panel just came off of my car, so we're gonna try to repair it. The ground cable seems fine, but the positive cable came out, or it was loose and then I just ripped it out. So today we're going to install some new MC4 cables back into the junction box on this flexible solar panel and get it back up and running. Let's get to repairing this. First thing we'll need to do is pop off the cover to the PV junction box. Once the cover is removed, we can remove the silicone with a flathead screwdriver to expose the wire connections. A heat gun may help with this process. Since my cables were pulled quite hard, there was no need to desolder the old connections and the cables were able to just wiggle out of the junction box. Before I solder the wires in, let's go give it a test. Once the cable connections were free of silicone, I took the panel back outside to confirm that the panel was indeed still working. So there's the panel. This is the positive side and the other side is the ground. Don't mind the mess in my car. It's because I got everything tore apart at the moment. No, I'm not getting anything here. Note to self, it might help if you have the cables connected. Oh, they're not connected. I'm a dummy. I am a dummy. I forgot. I was testing the panel out with the other wires. Smash this one in here. Yes. PV is green. Once I confirmed that the solar panel was still functioning, I proceeded to install the new cables. So I got all the silicone out. I'm going to widen these terminals by inserting my flathead and opening it up a bit so I could stick the wire in there. I'll clamp these down with the needle nose plier later. Once the wire was inserted, I crimped it back down with the needle nose plier and gave it a big old glob of solder. I repeated this process for the negative terminal on the other side. Another quick little test to confirm good solder connections. All right, so we got the panel flat on the roof here, exposed to full sun. Our new soldered connections coming in through the roof, connecting into my main solar cables here. Don't mind the mess, obviously I'm working on the car here. Why are you flickering? <laughs> the main thing is, look, we got 6.8 amps coming in. Um, once I soldered in the connections, we got a lot more power coming in. That's exactly what I thought. 6.9, we're almost going up to 7. The highest I've seen on here is 9.9, .9, so this worked pretty good now i just have to caulk this in and put the top on and then reattach it back to my car now to reapply some silicone back into the junction box and just to be safe we'll go around the base too yeah. 
Snap the cover back onto the junction box and we have a fully restored flexible solar panel. I think this solar panel takes the win in the durability test. I just wish I could say the same for their customer service. Stay tuned as we try reinstalling this flexible solar panel and cross the border into Canada. Got the turnabond, rough cut. I'm going to apply this now and trim it up. Entering Canada. It's a very small office compared to the usual. So where are you headed though? Are you going to the angle? Are you staying? How long is it up there for? Just a few hours and I'm coming back. Just kind of going up to look yeah. at it? Yeah. Well, no, they have uh, the monument, the yeah. northernmost point. Yeah. And I got a picture of my car by the southernmost point in Florida. In the QS there? Yeah. Okay. So this might take a long time. Th that's fine. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, it sucks. For you, okay. It's okay. Sorry. That's fine. No, I get it, buddy. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll take a look for you. Uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, the car park there. You can go ahead and park uh, over here if you wish or up there. You know what? Go park behind that Volkswagen All up right. there. All right. Thank you. Thanks, buddy.